Hi, this is Jim Hazel with Herb Petroleum. Hopefully you've seen my other video blogs. I've got a new one for you. We're not going to touch on fuel service or prices or anything like that. I want to touch on just being a business owner and the way we do things around here. I'm not saying it's better than anybody else. There are far more successful people than me. But what I do want to touch on is our employees. Our employees make our company. Uh, if you ask me what, who is the most important employee in the company, I'm going to tell you who the most important employee in the company is. But first, let me explain. I'm here every day. I love what I do. I love what I do. I'm excited every day when I wake up and I come to work. And this is going on 19 years. I love what I do. Because we help people. We're good at what we do. We're passionate about it. I love the people that work with me. And notice I say work with me. I don't feel like they work for me. They work with me. When there's a decision to be made, a new piece of equipment we want to buy, we'll bring our drivers in, we'll all sit together as a group and we'll put our heads together and make decisions on what type of equipment, how do we want to outfit it, etc. They're part of the decision making. They're part of this company. We have uh, computer changes or billing things that we want to change. We bring billing in. We all sit and talk as a group together. We are all equal in the same. A good analogy to get to where who the most important employee is, is this is the beginning of a ladder and how to build a ladder. So from start to finish, when we get a customer to the final billing, we have our sales team. They go out and they find customers and make them aware of us. They're a step in the ladder. Without them, we don't have a beginning to the whole process. The next department, once we are able to bring a new account on, is accounting. They're the next step in the ladder. Without them, we can't process the customer and get the information and get them in our system so we can take care of them and get them their bill and, and help them with tax questions or anything like that. The next step is our dispatchers. We've got great dispatchers. They love what they do. You can tell it on their voices when you talk to them on the phone. When a customer places an order, they've got to talk to dispatch. That's our logistics department. Without the logistics and dispatchers, the fuel it wouldn't go anywhere. It's got to have a start. It's got to have a director. That's where the dispatchers come in. Once the dispatchers dispatch it, they dispatch it to our drivers. Guys, without the drivers, the fuel doesn't get out there. And what these drivers do is very dangerous. We make it safe as we can, but it's dangerous work. And they are the face of our company and to the public and to our customers. They are so important. So without these guys, we don't get the fuel delivered. Once the fuel's delivered, the next department is the billing department. Our girl Ida and Amanda. When the paperwork comes in, they have to bill the customer. The customer gets their delivery ticket, shows what they got. That customer needs that information. Without the bill, you know, we don't get paid and the customer needs a bill to see what's going on and everything. So they're very important. Then we have our accounting department. They keep keep our books running and keep us in good shape. It's, it's, uh, it's like exercising your body. You've got to stay healthy. You've got to stay on top of your numbers and make sure the paperwork's flowing right. Without them, we're dead in the water. So, each one of these people make up the rung of a ladder. Which one is most important? They're all equally important. It's like, it's, it's the old adage of the, ch the link in the chain. There is no one person here that is more important than another person, including me. So as a team, this is the way we operate here. They're my, they're my coworkers, they're not my employees. This is how we operate preferred petroleum services. This is why we don't have a big turnover in drivers. It's not always about the money. It's about enjoying where you work and who you work with. I'm Jim Hayes, watch my next blog, and I'll touch on some more interesting facts and figures and things that you'll be interested in. Thanks.